I'm Debbie Cruzel, and today I'm going to do a video about how to have a healthy septic system. I was told by Hannah, who watched my septic inspection failure, that he was afraid of septic systems until we talked about it, and then he understood how to support a septic system, and so that inspired me to do this video for you. So the first thing you need to know is that I've only lived with a septic system for 11 years, and so what I'm going to share with you is what we've discovered from doing research and talking to the septic pumping company. Uh, and first of all, you have to understand that a septic system works because of the bacteria that break down the waste. So there's three things that can happen to pretty much kill a septic system. And number one is to have too much waste. And uh, one of the biggest contributing factors is toilet paper. So you need to limit the amount of toilet paper you have and certainly don't use three-ply toilet paper. The septic companies recommend one-ply toilet paper. Um, number two is since it's bacteria that's um, breaking down the waste, just like the bacteria in your belly, you need to treat it nicely. And so if you're putting a lot of grease down into your septic, that's really bad. If you clean with nasty chemicals like Clorox or some other squirty sprays that are nasty chemicals, those are going to kill your bacteria. And also, if you have the wrong kind of laundry detergent, that's going to be really bad for your bacteria also. So certainly check with the uh, septic companies in your area or other people that use septic systems to see what products they use. Um, and then the third reason why a septic can fail is if you just flood it with water. So for instance, if the power goes out and you didn't, haven't turned off all your faucets, it comes back on and just lots and lots and lots of water, you can overwhelm your septic system and kill it that way. So what are the two ways that I recommend and septic companies recommend uh, to support your system? Number one is pump it every year or every two years. Uh, you really need to know what is the size of your leach field, your septic system. Do you have a two bedroom and you have six people living in your house? Do you have a three bedroom system and you only have two people living in your house? That will help you gauge how frequently you need to pump your system. The septic companies recommend one to two years. We actually pumped our system the first time after eight years of living in our house, and we've lived here for 11 years. And we contribute that to following all those guidelines I just told you, not a lot of um, grease, don't use nasty chemicals, and then we use um, a septic helper that we add to our septic, or actually to the toilet, it goes down to the septic system. We add a quarter cup once every month, and that adds um, nutrients that the bacteria need and even additional and different kinds of bacteria to help to break down the waste. So I hope that this has been a helpful video and um, you too can get comfortable with a septic system by keeping these things in mind. I'm told that septic systems can last 20, 30, even 50 years provided that they're treated properly and um, the area that the, the leach field is leaching into is, um, was designed properly and installed properly. If you have a question you'd like me to go over on a video, let me know, either in the comments section here on the YouTube page or in the reply section on my blog. Again, I'm Debbie Cruzel, and you can also call me at 603-318-6954. Thanks for watching.